Oh, Whoa, whoa. geez, Louise. Oh my God, are you Steve Jobs? In the building? Oh, my God. What happened? What? What's it look like? A phenomenal. Amazing. You got a little blurry books behind you, real yeah. spotlight on the face. You could have joined the whole show. I tell you what, yeah, I've been trying. I've been on the phone with Zeke trying to figure things out. Yeah, this is not uh, not ideal, but at least I got to connect at some point. This is kind of ideal, actually. I mean, yeah, you look incredible. Yeah, you look really good. Oh, shocking. Oh, you mean this camera is much better than the one that they set up for me? That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> well, I guess that. Come AJ. Is that AJ. Is that so <laughs> mad. You're not happy? Okay. Listen. Well, no, I mean. It, the, the internet was great. It was working great. I was out plowing snow today, pulled my kids around the tubes, everything out in the yard. And I come back to do the show, and the internet's down the whole house, and it's still out. Well, we appreciate you battling through. You look good. You sound good. It's your neighbor's fault. You look good. You sound good. Yeah, you could talk to your neighbors a little bit, maybe be a little bit friendlier. Uh, maybe see if he's in. Never mind. We're not getting into that <laughs> this week. Nope. We're nope. not getting into that this week. Stop that. AJ, you're taking all four dogs just like uh, Chuck Pagano. Tell me why. Let's go ahead and dive into some of these and, and see why you're thinking what you're thinking. You don't think the Houston Texans can keep it within nine and a half? Of, uh, I'm sorry, you don't think the Baltimore Ravens can pull away from the Houston Texans and make this 10 point or more off a couple weeks rest? No, I mean, I, I think they... The, the Ravens obviously can. I just think nine and a half feels like a lot of points. I know the weather's not going to be terrible, but it's still going to be a cold game, I'm guessing. Maybe a little bit of wind. So I just think the Texans are pretty legit. And I think even if the Ravens pull away, I think the uh, the Texan can do enough to at least get it to within nine and a half. All right, give me the Texans as well Ooh. in that particular Ooh. game. Let's go to Saturday night action. Green Bay Packers traveling to Santa Clara, California to take on the number one seed San Francisco 49ers. Remember, the Niners are very good, but the Packers phenomenal last weekend. Mm -hmm. Is that a sign of what they are and who they are? Or was that a one-off? We shall see at 8.15 tomorrow night on Fox. AJ, who do you like? You like Green Bay. Yeah, I like Green Bay, plus 9.5. Again, I just think this is a lot of points. And, yeah, we all know the Niners can roll and they can end up winning by 17. We never know. But I just feel like the Packers have something going. They got something going right now. And the, the Niners will have to see, obviously, off a little bit of a break with the bye. They should be healthy. But who knows if they have a little bit of rust early. Lombo like the over there of 50 and a half. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you like that as well, or are you not diving into that game? Uh, I mean, I do like that. Yeah, think about it. Like This is the one game, well, I guess the indoor game, obviously, in Detroit. But this game in San Fran, the weather's going to be beautiful, I would imagine. So I think those Green Bay players are going to get off the plane. They're going to be like, Ooh. man, this is... This is it. We love this kind of weather. We, we can handle this. It's like you're on vacation. The body feels a little bit good. You know, you got a little lather a lot quicker than it does back at Green Bay, even if you're inside because the weather in the air is so dry. Mm -hmm. Give me the Niners minus nine and a half. Ooh. Ooh. I love the Packers, though. Why do you, why do, you do it? How, how much do you think they win by? I don't know, dude. I don't know. It could be 24. I mean, could, you know what yeah. I mean? Could, could be. <laughs> like, this is the hell. Yeah. I just... Bosa, I, every time he does an interview, I just remind myself, like, Bosa hasn't even really, like, He's the best. gone bananas yet this no, year. No, no. You know? He's had a couple massive games, but has not gone absolutely apeshit. Division around, home game, prime time, like, they got names all over that team. Not that the Packers don't. The Packers have names, I think, of the next 10 years on that team. But I just, I think this is one of those games we'll look back at for the Packers where we go, you remember they lost to the Niners? They carried that into the offseason. They got even better. Like the Packers, this young team. But I just think the Niners' year. I think it's the Niners' year. I think they've been on a mission. And I think they play very, very good. So I think 10 could be. I think they could win by 10. Yeah, I think they could win by 10. What are you yeah. I, I mean, was going to say also, like, you, Nick Bosa, Chase Young got a taste of the playoffs with Heineke, but like he went through the shitter finally back in like real meaningful football after coming from Ohio State too. So he's probably been waiting for a big game like that mm -hmm. for I mean legitimately years. And like Ty brought it up, there is a real chance where Christian McCaffrey runs for 175 yards. Like that isn't that isn't like a hey this could happen. That's like a very realistic. That worries thing. me. It's that definitely worries me. I would imagine Ty is a little bit worried. Let's see early if if Green Bay can shut the run game down early. Hopefully San Fran can go away from it. Christian McCaffrey's total is 89 over under 89 and a half. Oh, so we're taking the over there, right? I, I, yeah, absolutely. But they I, use them in a screen game a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it takes away from the rushing. What about total yardage? Is I, there a total yardage for Christian McCaffrey? There definitely is. Yeah, they've been doing that with Lamar. I think Lamar's is like 265, so I'm assuming Christian McCaffrey's is probably something along, probably like 125, 130 probably. 
I get you on there. Oh yeah. yeah. No, I just. I mean, I. I do think the Packers can win. I think if they get beat, though, I think they will not necessarily get blown out, but get beat by seventeen. Tw- because if they get down, they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to press, and I feel like that's when like their line has played really well. But last week it was basically just like, hey, you got to stop Micah Parsons. Now you got three, four rushers who are very, very good. And if they get down fourteen points or something like that, I think that's where you could see Love taking some more chances and committing a couple turnovers. With that, love the Packers. Mm-hmm. The Packers should be incredibly pumped. Yeah, no I'm up and up. Yeah, I am. I am incredibly pumped about the Packers and their future. But I just think this is the year for the Niners. Obviously, there's only eight teams left. Everybody's good. Let's go to the Buccaneers. Detroit Lions. Foxy will be in attendance. Hell Ooh. yeah! Second most expensive ticket in the history of the divisional round. Says Seat Geek. It's going to be a loud stadium up there at Ford Field. Now, they do have a roof on the place. They just put it in. Yep. They have made it a dome this week, yep. I believe, <laughs> yes. is what is taking place. <laughs> so there'll be no weather situations on the field. But getting into the stadium, it might be a bit breezy and cold yes. for a lot of folks. Bucks getting six and a half. You like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers plus six and a half, AJ. Yeah, I do. This one kind of scares me a little bit, especially listen to, to Lomba. What do you say? Baker's Gonna have to throw forty plus times and be perfect. That yep. that worried me a little bit, but I don't know. Bake's got something special going right now. Hopefully, they can get out to a hot start. I do think Bake has something special going on. I love it. I think Todd Bowles is a mastermind, big genius. Love that AQ Shipley broke that down the other day. Give me the brand new lines. Let's go. That place is gonna be of a you know like a. A lion's den. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. True home oh, field yeah. advantage. Yeah. It, it, it's going to be one of those ones where, you know, what was that? Grizzly man? Oh, yeah. Grizzly mm-hmm. man made a living out of being dangerously close to grizzly bears. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he walked into one of their caves one night, and one of the grizzly bears didn't know that this particular human was on the up and up and just fucking ate him. Yeah. Killed him. Killed him. Just, <laughs> yeah. just absolutely killed him. Mm-hmm. Peace, this is what you're walking into, I think, with the way Ford Field has yeah. been from what we saw last week and exactly. how, the amount of money these tickets are this week. Did they price out the rowdiness or did they price in an obligation to be rowdy? That is the question that we will find out. Yeah. And last week, the Rams had to uh, use two timeouts because it was so loud and at the end of the game and it helped us ice it out. So that was huge. Like the fans actually helped us win that game. And do we know if Eminem is leading into Kid Rock, which is oh. leading into Jack? Jack White, which is leading into Big too. Sean. No, I, yeah, I, I don't know, but that that's a stipulation AJ should think about because if Tim Robinson is on two motorcycles r- rolling that team out, whoa, yeah, I, I mean that Tim, is something. Tim Allen's driving a Mustang out. Bingo. Yeah, whoa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, uh, AJ immediately is going to say, like, "Oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. I wouldn't well, have taken." If, if I would have known, there would have been two motorcycles with a house in the middle. <laughs> I would have I taken the ball. It's giant. If Tim's wearing those giant baggy jeans he wears, one of those Jinkos that he, he wears when he goes to the Lions games? No, nah, I think he's just dressing comfortably. Yeah. I think he's just dre- dressing comfortably. <laughs> Tim Robinson is a fashion god, too. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. About that. Now the game that'll cap off an incredible divisional weekend. The Kansas City Chiefs versus the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> Chiefs getting three. AJ, you're saying Patrick Mahomes in points in the playoffs? Sounds good to me. Yeah, I mean, it's Patrick Mahomes, it's the Chiefs. And, yeah, it hasn't been the Chiefs that we have seen, you know, the last couple of years, I guess. But I think last week we got a little bit of a glimpse. And I think they're going to be excited. I think Mahomes is going to be excited that people are questioning whether he can play on the road or not. I mean, come on, let's get real there. So, yeah, I think the, the Chiefs being dogs is the main reason I'm picking them. I think this is a one-point game. Yep. Ooh. So, for that, give me the Chiefs. I think the Bills win, though. Ooh. Oh, the maybe middle the Chiefs. It's so tough. I mean, it's going to feel like 70 for the Chiefs. They're going to be playing in like 20 degree weather and they're going to feel Oh my incredible. God, this is 45 degrees warmer. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, we experienced it this week. Like, it, it was five degrees the first couple of days. On Wednesday, it was 25 and it felt like 60. Um, there's our picks. Breland went five of six last mm-hmm. weekend. Yep. The only one he missed was his home team. Uh-huh. Here's his divisional round choices. My wild card predictions went five to six. Yep. And my team's the only one I would miss. Damn. So I'm coming weak to it, so I'm biased. Thanks. Without further ado, let me provide the script. Bars. Houston is falling short in Baltimore. But CJ will put some points on the board. Okay, got it. The Ravens running backs are running back and forth. And Lamar will find a way to get the final 